In this video, we're gonna talk about widget settings. So widget settings is the first tab you're gonna see here on the sub navigation when you're inside the engagement section. And uh, we do have a lot of tool tips here that help you kind of you know, understand each of the settings that are inside of the widget settings. But if you have any questions, please reach out to support. I'm gonna do a quick overview of this. And uh, there are a lot of help center articles that go into more detail about each one of these. So go ahead and try and, uh, you know, navigate around the help center and find some more information about this if this video doesn't give you the information that you need. So first thing is the widget name. So I can actually change this to ABC Dental. And if I save that, it's going to change in my widget selection drop down. Okay. Um, now, as I go down, you can see like, you know, if I want to enable or disable this widget, this is very useful. If let's say someone doesn't pay you your monthly subscription, you could just disable the widget and it just disappears off their website. Um, you can, you know, choose where to show like only on desktop mobile. You can choose if it's uh, anchored or floating or fixed to the screen. Uh, you can choose whether it's on the left or the right side of the screen. You can even trigger it via a custom button which we have actually here, if you click on the support widget in the portal, there's no, you notice there's no little button like this and we just trigger it off of this button. Okay, so you can do that here. Now, as I go down, I'm gonna have uh, more customization settings. So I have widget window, for example, the widget title, as I change this, I'll see that title change here. And then the subtitle, as I change that text, I'll see that displayed here. I can change the primary secondary colors. I can add a widget logo, which changes this image here. And I can even change the floating action button, which is this little guy right here. So if I wanted to, um, let's say, change that to a little Android logo, you'll see that displayed right here, okay? As I continue down, I'm gonna have office hours. These office hours are not necessarily to show or hide the entire widget. They're connected to internal tools and targeted prompts. So if I have specific office hours, I can choose to show or hide certain tools and certain prompts based on when my employees are in the office and working that day. Uh, if I go to widget branding, I can choose to display or hide Chet HQ branding. If you're on the free plan, you actually don't have any uh, ability to change the branding. But if you're on a paid plan, you can either remove branding or add custom branding depending on the plan that you're on. When I'm ready to install, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the install tab and copy this JavaScript. And there's other help articles on how to install the widget on different, like in different locations. For example, if it's WordPress or high level funnels or whatever you're trying to install the widget into. So you just copy this uh, code, make sure it's in the body tag. Uh, some areas it can't be added to the body tag. For example, if you wanted to add this widget to an individual high level funnel page instead of the entire funnel, you'd have to add it in the footer area, which there's a video and a help article on that. So you just go into the Chet HQ Help Center, try to find the installation area, and then look for like single high level funnel page or single high level website page, and there's installation instructions there. So once I'm ready, I click on save, and all of my widget settings are now configured. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about conversion tools and uh, do a brief overview of those so you get a better idea of what you can do, how you can customize your widget, and how you can make it unique for yourself and for your customers. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys learned a lot.